Okay, so I'm going to explain how to do intracoder agreement um, using MaxQDA or export things out of MaxQDA to do intracoder agreement. So first you're going to select the documents that you want to check agreement for. Um, so you and your coding partner should each do this for your own documents. So let's say that I'm coding partner one. Um, I'm doing selection in my documents. Okay, so the rest of these aren't coded, but I selected the ones that are coded. Okay, and then I want to select all of the codes that I want to calculate agreement for. Um, and really, you just want to select all of the codes. We can collapse them later. So first, I'm going to show agreement for like all of these codes, and then I'll show how you would do agreement for the top level ones. We're going to go to Visual Tools and then Code Matrix Browser, and we're going to do it only for the activated documents, activated codes. And we want to count hits per document only once because most of our intercoder agreement calculations we do for whether or not we coded um, a particular file with that code. We don't care about how many times we used the code like to select values. Okay. So now we're going to wait uh, for the codes to be generated. Okay, great. So as you see, um, we can convert this to being numeric. And then we have lots of little ones for each of the codes. And then if you click this Excel button, it's going to export. Uh, and you can see where uh, certain documents have been coded with certain uh, values. Now, I'm going to, um, for the purpose of this example, because this file has tons of codes, I'm going to show you this with top level codes, which sometimes you don't want to dig all the way down in here. And we just want the top level ones. OK, so now we're going to. Um, Go back to our code matrix browser, but we're going to actually collapse these different codes down so that there are less for us to deal with. Um, and I'm actually going to even collapse these further so that we just have the top level uh, codes. Here. Okay, great. So now if I click uh, Excel, I'm going to have the, uh, these high-level codes. OK, so now what I would do is I would save this, um, maybe with some better name, like example, look at our agreement one. OK, and then now let's imagine that I had another file um, that was my partner's codes. And then what you want to do is you want to put the different codings right next to each other. So this is the one. Uh, from my partner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to insert my partner's coding always in the same direction, right? So I'm always going to insert their codes, in this case, to the right of my codes. OK, so on and so forth. Um, I'm not going to do that for the rest of these, so I'm going to just delete these. Okay. Great, so now we have an example, and we don't need these document names. Um, we can keep the headers, though, if you want to see like which topics you have the most disagreement on. Okay, so I've kept this example, and I'm going to save it somewhere. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, Recal2. So I got here by Googling Recal2, and this is the first um, option. And there's documentation on here that will show you how to format your document. And basically what it says is that uh, the screenshot below shows a file containing three variables with each corresponding pair of code data, A, B, C, D, E, F. So this is one coder. This is the second coder on the same variable. So A, B is a variable. C, D is a variable. E, F is a variable. We have the same thing. A, B, C, D, and E, F. Okay. So we're going to upload our example file, and then we're going to calculate reliability. Oh, and it's angry because I didn't save it as a CSV. I'm going to go ahead and save this as a CSV and upload it here. Great. And because I copied all the same columns, we got 100% agreement. Not that exciting. Um, but we can export these results into an output file, and you can see that you can see the type of agreement by variable as well as overall. 
And here are our results. Um, and it gives you Scott's Pi, Cohen's Kappa, Kirpendorf Alpha, so on and so forth. Great, that's it.